All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Safety Speaks. I'm Taryn. And I'm Darren Tyler. It's good to be here today. We're going to yes. talk about one of Darren's favorite subjects today, and that is <laughs> we have received so many calls and emails lately on, I run a trucking company in trust state only, and I don't run trucks over 26,001 pounds. Do I have to have a DOT number? Well, I'm going to tell everybody just out the gate that it becomes a point of confusion because mm -hmm. the state uh, said, yes, you should have an interest rate DOT number. Correct. And then it was not enforced. And under Governor Haley's administration, they decided mm -hmm. to wipe that out with code, state code, not federal code, state, state code, code. 56-5-4240 giving all intrastate only under 26,001 pounds a pass on on having to have a DOT number. Correct, with the exception of if you're hauling passengers and hazmat. Correct. Okay. Um, and passengers over 16, 12, yes. and then in yeah. commerce. Yeah, in for commerce hire. for hire. That gets a little tricky around 9 to 15, too, so I'll put that disclaimer out there as well. So it's not a confusing rule, but it is confusing. It's just clear as mud. The problem comes like in when you start loading this particular vehicle and it goes over 26,000. Um, and that's not – I shouldn't probably say that, but I think my whole concern is with this particular rule, it's still on the books – and if you get involved in some type of litigation, that's when the questions are going to come up, okay? But for the sake of this session, um, it pretty much exempts anybody who operates intrastate. Intrastate only. That means inside the state of South Carolina. And they're not hauling anything that originates or ends absolutely. outside of South Carolina. Yep, so we got to be careful with those that import things in from other countries, thinking about the intermodal world. Mm -hmm or even air freight, uh, which we don't talk about too much, but you get exempt from pretty much everything as um, far as driver files and maintenance files and drug and alcohol. But you need to understand that most of the states have adopted the federal regulations, but this particular code that's found in the 56 Code of Regulations, um, it's there on the books, okay? And this is what South Carolina State Transport Police is acting under. Correct. So it, it could be a little point of confusion. Right. So um, my whole point is I would, I would say just be cautious. Um, I would probably, when you get to the loading side of things, make sure that you load out your vehicle so you know what those weights are and you're under the 26,000. Those of you who are close to state borders, um, you know, I know that gray area comes in there where I'm just going to jump over. Nobody knows. Again, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's when something happens, that's when things get a little um, sticky. I'll use that word. Okay. But 56, 5, 42, 40 is on the books mm -hmm. for intrastate only. Vehicles operated under 26,001 pounds exempts you from pretty much, I want to say, was it 300 to 399? I think that's what it is. You want to read that or no, I, verify that I'm correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, I want to go back real quick and just touch, mm -hmm. touch on the if you're crossing state lines and mm -hmm. it's not something you do on a normal basis, mm -hmm. you have to change your registration. Yes. Um, which means that you're going to have to have a DOT mm -hmm. number. You're going to have to have... Uh, permits because mm -hmm. this is a South Carolina only exemption. Right. Yes. Um, and when he's talking about uh, gross weights, he's really mm -hmm. referring to uh, smaller like F250s, mm -hmm. 350s that are mm -hmm. in combinations with trailers. That right. trailer weight, if it's over 10,001 pounds, mm -hmm. could throw the whole combination mm -hmm. vehicle into mm -hmm. a CMV, mm -hmm. um, which then uh, takes mm -hmm. you above and beyond. Right. Um, um, even in the dump truck world. Right. Um, I'm going to leave the farmers out of this one because they have their own exemptions. But if you're hauling a dump truck that's, if, as long as you can make sure it stays under 26,001, but you got to think about aggregates when they get wet, um, who's loading it, who's how loading it's been it, yeah. load. I, I mean, 
you got to really pay close attention to that. Okay. Yep. Um, so this is clear as mud. If you have any mm -hmm. questions, you can contact us or you can contact the state transport police at eight Oh three, eight, nine, six, 5,500. Yep. Um, I think that's the right number. That is correct number. That's it. Okay. Uh -huh. um, or you can give us a call or look us up here at sctrucking.org. That is correct. Well, see you next time. See you next time on the next session.